Christmas! Let's talk about what to put in your kids' stockings without spending more than $10. I don't know about you, but I get really hung up on this and either I end up buying tons and tons of stuff and it's overflowing or it's just a bunch of stuff that my kids don't even like and ends up in the trash can. I'm gonna help you solve that problem. For the littlest kids, I love our That's Not My books. These are told from the perspective of the mouse. We have them in lots of different types of topics and they all follow the same format. It's memorable, the pictures are outlined in black, they're bold and there's a sensory element on every single page for your child to enjoy and feel. I recommend grabbing one of these books and just pairing it with a little stuffy, maybe one that you already have at home, and it will be perfect for your little one's stocking. For slightly older kids, I love these 199 things on the farm and 199 dinosaurs and prehistoric animals. Now I know we all have one of these tubs like this at our house, right? Filled with lots of different plastic animals and dinosaurs. Grab one of these books and a few of these little plastic animals that you already have at home, throw them in the stocking and call it a day. These 199 books are awesome because there are lots and lots of pages with all kinds of different animals on each page. And bonus, for the dinosaur, there is a QR code on the back. You can scan it and it will actually pronounce the names of those dinosaurs and prehistoric animals for you. So when your child says, how do you say this, mom? you can look it up. If you wanna add something else to a stocking, I love our little stickers books. We have these in a variety of different topics and the stickers are repositionable, which means that if your child doesn't like where they initially place something, you can take it off and put it on in a different spot. We could all use a laugh after the year that we have had. And for kids who like jokes, our animal and sports joke books are sure to bring your entire family some laughter on Christmas Day. What did the comedian look for in the boxing ring? A punchline. What do you call an angry hockey player? No more Mr. Ice Guy. Why was the jackrabbit upset? It was having a bad hair day. <laughs> for kids who love art, a year of art is perfect. Pair it with some erasable gel pens or some brush markers and stick it in the stocking and call it done. Year of Art supplies space to document 365 days of art. This is great for kids who don't really love writing or are really, really into art. At the end of the year, it's going to be a perfect keepsake for your family. Write down the second thing you think of when you look at each color below. Imagine it's raining outside. Draw the pattern of the raindrops on your window. This Shine series is so cute and this would go along really well with the Year of Art. This is a series of four books, each book about a different girl at a performing art school. And these stories are just beautiful stories of friendship and girls being empowered. They have a few illustrations throughout and they're just nice reads that are really going to encourage your child. For older kids, I love pairing just like a fun little hot chocolate spoon or maybe one of those hot chocolate bombs that are so popular this year, along with a really good chapter book. This is Kenzie and Max, Breaking News, the first book in the series. You can see it's nice and thick, and this is actually about a set of twins. They wake up and their parents are mysteriously gone. Think secret codes, missions, and friendship in this story. If you're looking for nonfiction, we have a bunch of amazing titles in our Extraordinary Lives series. So if your child has a specific interest, we probably have a book about someone who is a, a leader in their field about that interest. Here is Anne Frank, and each of these books starts off the same. They follow the same pattern. There's some uh, general information about their life to give you a little bit of a, an overview, and then it goes into a lot more detail throughout the story. There's quotes, there's little known facts, and in the end there is a timeline and there are even some points to think about and to talk about as a family. 